What's happening, Forum? Hey, you know, when people like me and you, we go to Walmart and we see a sale, we get excited. But that's no reason to moonwalk up and down the aisle. Yeah, okay, nice. What the hell is that guy doing? Walmart. Prices so low, they'll make a motherfucker moonwalk. Then again, maybe he's moonwalking his ass back to Target. You know, you think with 700,000 views, they'd explain to us why this dude feels the need to cut a rug down the tampon aisle. You see, my theory is this. If you look in the cart, the man's got nothing in there but toilet paper. So I'm guessing the guy ran out of toilet paper like two days ago, and he finally made his way over to Walmart to get some. And now he's just so damn happy. Look at him. Yeah, we've all been there, dude. Yeah, I went without toilet paper for like three days once, and when I finally I finally got to Walmart to get some, I was like doing the worm up and down the aisle. So check it out, this video came out like three years ago and it just hit a million views on YouTube. And it should explain to you exactly why you should use common courtesy when you're in public talking on your cell phone. Yeah. Win. Yeah, and unfortunately, I can't recall the name of that song they're playing. I think it might be called Ode to Get the F*** Off Your Phone. And you know everyone hates the guy that does that. If you're the guy that does that, I hope you get squirrel aids up in your mouth. Hey, yeah, I'm really important. In fact, I'm so important, I need to talk on my cell phone extra loud so people will understand exactly how important I am. No, maybe I'm being too harsh, but by the way, props to the string quartet for being just awesome and doing that. And, uh... Yeah, I got nothing else. It's just a really good video. Speaking of good videos, we may have struck gold. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is this guy, who is what is known as a ghetto witness. Oh, well, Ray, what's a ghetto witness? Well, I'm glad you asked that person who looks a lot like me, handsome motherfucker. A ghetto witness is a person who's often from a low-income neighborhood who is a material witness to a crime. Heard his sister scream and ran to help. Well... Obviously, we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. Wow, they're raping the husbands too? That, that's really prolific. Oh, wait, did he say there's a rapist in Lincoln Park? Man, I really like their first album. No, but I like the fact that this particular witness is trying to send a message directly to the rapist. You got your t-shirt, you didn't let fingerprints and all. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Oh, no, he didn't. Now, the local news organization that filmed this is awesome. Because they just let Thugnificent there keep on talking, and they seem to have left in all the footage. You don't have to come and confess that you did it. We're looking for you. We, we gonna find you. I'm letting you know that. So you can run and tell that. Homeboy. Mm-hmm. Run, tail that. Now, when I first saw this, it literally had like a thousand views. And literally the next day before I could start filming this episode, it shot up to a quarter million views. I told you guys, if you find a good ghetto witness, you've hit the jackpot. You might as well celebrate by moonwalking your ass up and down the aisle at Walmart. Because you're going to have hours of entertainment. But you know what else will entertain you for minutes? The comment question of the day, which comes from a user named BAM. And she said, uh, he said. Hi, Ray. My coming question is... Do you want a hug? So, do you want a hug? Leave your interesting or creative responses in the comments section below. But thanks for watching today's episode of Equals 3. I'm Ray William Johnson, and I approve this message. So tell me, Forum, what's your money maker? Stalking your mom, stalk, stalk, stalking your, stalking your mom, stalk, stalking your mom, stalking your mom, stalk, stalk, stalking your, stalking your mom, stalking your mom, stalking your mom, stalk, stalk, stalking your, stalking your mom, stalk, stalking your mom, stalking your mom. I've been stalking your mom for like two years straight I'm way too shy to ask her out on a date So I just wait in your neighbor's lawn With my camera ready and my camouflage on And I know that I'll get plenty pics Alright, sorry um, that I just noticed that like you can actually see the table in, So you're going to be able to see it in the episode The table that the uh, camera is on and that pisses me off I'm sorry guys, I don't have any of my equipment here So I'm just, I'm filming with nothing Like I'm Sitting on the f***ing carpet. <laughs>